Well, making news, two victims in the CPS sex abuse scandal today gave emotional testimony as state lawmakers listened. But CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely says legislators were clearly dissatisfied with CPS explanations for past failures and their plans to eliminate them in the future. I am not the person I was before the assault. And I will never be the same as a result of what has been done to me. Tamara Reed sexually assaulted as an eighth grader by a CPS substitute teacher in 2014. I was shuttered into the dark. I felt like I was the one under investigation. And Morgan Aranda sexually abused twice in 2010 by a Peyton College prep teacher. They courageously brought their pain before a panel of state legislators. I was deeply failed by a school and teachers I trusted and admired. CPS officials replied with a laundry list of promised changes, new background checks on all employees, an investigation of past practices by former federal prosecutor Maggie Hickey, and a probe of how past cases were handled by CPS Inspector General Nick Schuler. Going forward, if people fail to live up to their obligations to report, we will take action against them. But lawmakers blasted the system for not having held employees accountable in the past. I am outraged, not by the fact that we don't have the policies and procedures in place, but by the fact that your people and people going back 32 years did nothing. And others railed about the glaring absence of CPS CEO Janice Jackson. Every single one of you up there, including Ms. Jackson, who couldn't bother to be here today, should be fired tomorrow. And let's get some new people out there. We'll take this under serious consideration, and let's get this cleaned up. State legislators have proposed a number of new laws to help prevent future abuse. But the question several lawmakers asked is this. What's the good in new laws since CPS hasn't carried out several of the statutes already on the books? And Rob, they're particularly talking about mandated reporting. The first thing you do when you get an abuse allegation is call the police and call DCFS. And in several cases, several cases, CPS administrators and employees failed to do that. So where are all these administrators today? Clearly it irked the lawmakers. Well, some have been disciplined, according to CPS. Uh, at least 10 principals, they said, have been uh, disciplined over the past few years each year for failing to report. But that's a serious allegation. They can also relate to a, ch a criminal charge itself. Oh. So there's a lot here to dig through. There's a lot to dig through. Derek, thank you very much.